and the citizens continue to vote for whoever will deliver. Eventually, the citizens feel entitled to all these privileges. Thus, a new word, entitlements, enters the lexicon. Well, when any uh, country or government tries to pass out endless subsidies and handouts to its people, uh, it goes bankrupt and usually collapses into some form of a dictatorship shortly thereafter. Uh, you're going to see things get much worse in the future if we don't change political directions uh, today. You're going to see more and more oppressive taxes. You're going to see uh, more and more inflationary booms and busts, perhaps uh, uh, even a catastrophic economic collapse. Uh, more government regimentation and regulation of our lives. Any country uh, that tries to pass out endless subsidies and welfare and entitlements to its people must self-destruct. Eventually, citizens feel they are not just entitled to privileges, that privileges are a right. Thus, new rights enter the lexicon, rights that are in clear conflict with the very Constitution that gave birth to the U.S. Republic the concept of welfare has within it the implication of charity. We're doing this because we want to do it, because we're good people, because we have a big heart and we care about people. That's the welfare concept. The other concept, entitlements, has the ring of right to it. We have a right to this. We have a right to a job. We have a right to free medical care. We have a right to housing. We have a right to a decent diet. It's our right. It's though it's written into the Constitution. So it's more of an attitude of, uh, of justification. Why are we doing this? One is because we're doing it uh, to be charitable, but it adds up to the same thing. It's the transfer of wealth from uh, one group of people to another. And generally the people who are receiving